We uh, have the mission to try to understand uh, the causes of neurodegenerative diseases, particularly of dementia, but also Parkinson's disease and others, to try to find uh, preventive strategies, uh, cures for the disease, and to try to implement them into a new care system. Uh, these are complex diseases, Alzheimer, but also other neurodegenerative diseases. They are multifactorial. At the DZNE we collect data at many different sites and um, with swarm learning we can bring the, a model from the data together without actually transferring the data. So the data stays um, at its origin so we avoid um, privacy problems and we can learn at the edge and share a model um, among many different sites. With memory-driven computing we can basically take data that was stored away in isolated silos and bring it together so that when we analyze our data we can combine um, several types of data to get a better and deeper insight. Right now we are missing many signals that are very weak in our data collections but if we were able to look at the data collections from many institutes um, at the same time we can find these weaker signals. This um, will then help us um, to better understand the disease and find um, early disease markers, for example. This year, actually, we, uh, we identified uh, uh, new biomarkers in humans following um, a model studies that can enable us to tell when the disease takes place uh, about 16 years before it manifests. So effectively, this discovery gives us the possibility to have more predictive capability, meaning that uh, we can uh, eventually screen individuals who are at risk and therefore try to intervene uh, with preventive or therapeutic strategies much earlier than we do these days. And the development of medicines is actually aided a lot by using artificial intelligence, by using um, uh, computer uh, driven learning processes, deep learning, in a way that we can identify different families of compounds that can then tackle different targets. So in all of these, the cooperation with the HPE is enabling us to be able to make big, big advances. Defying convention, that's really how you're gonna to get to these kind of breakthroughs, is to defy the conventional approaches. DZNE was already doing this. They had organized themselves as a research institute completely different than anyone had ever done before. And now we were complementing their organization and the way they were approaching it with computation that was similarly defying the way people had always put things together. I think that's how you really can get to that breakthrough.